Hi guys, Denise here from Seasart, and I, I wasn't expecting to, to film this, and then I got to thought, I, I got to thinking about how significant it is of what I'm doing today, okay? Um, so, basically, uh, I am, I'm making, uh, pansies. This is LGBTQ month and everybody's doing multicolored and I love that, the rainbow and all that good stuff. But guys, there's a there's a guy out there, his name is Paul Hartfleet, and he plants pansies at the site of homophobic abuse. He finds the nearest source of soil uh, to where the incident occurred and generally without civic permission, he just goes and plant, plants these things on it's one unmarked pansy. The flower is then documented in its location and the image is entitled After the Abuse. Titles like Let's Kill the Batty Man or and Fucking Faggot, not a kid friendly show, um, reveal a frequent reality of LGBTQ experience, which is often goes unreported to authorities. The simple action creates a gesture of quiet resistance on how pansies flourish. I'm reading off the internet, so bear with me. Um, the artist began by planting pansies to mark his own experiences of homophobia on the streets in Manchester, UK. He now plants pansies for others on both an individual basis and as a part of various festivals and events. Increasingly, his developing practice involves filmmaking. At each location he visits, the artist makes short films revealing a historical thing. The thing of it is, guys, he goes around the world to protect every single death. So I thought my next ma my next mask was going to be pansies. I just didn't know how well it was going to work out. But I want to show you. I'm at the last bits, and and um, if anybody wants to see how I've done this, I'll, I'll be more than happy to start over. But <laughs> today. So um, right now I'm I'm uh, I put a many many layers of colors down, and what I want to do is I want to give more contrast to uh, the leaves, and so uh, I've been using pearlescent colors and um, pearlescent silver colors. This is made for leather, but it works great on the masks I buy. They're called Mocos, and so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a little bit more uh, darkening, and then I want to add a brightness in the center. So, oh, I've got, uh, I'll show you what I got here. I'm putting this down on my wax paper. And I kind of just want to go in and uh, kind of define more of a center. I want to get that, that kind of darkness there. Making sure that I want to um, define the, the corners. And I found that when I, when I get them too dark, I just pull, 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 and it just kind of add a, a, a beautiful sense of, um, of, of, I don't know, I guess I'm a flower. <laughs> I'm a flower, don't wear me out. So uh, I've been working on this one since I got home. It's a, uh, it means a lot to me because the, the story, the man's story just like, it struck me so intensely because he goes around the world. I mean, he, he went under the Brooklyn Bridge where this unfortunate soul lost their life to uh, Islamophobia. I mean, to, to, to just absolute hatred of another human for just because things you don't understand and it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I was raised in Manhattan, New York. Uh, just about everybody in the building, except for the lady who lived on the first floor, was gay. So I was raised by the gay community, and they're just a, a gorgeous, gorgeous community. I would give my life for them. So, here we go. I think that looks really good. And now that I have ink on, on acrylic ink, which is a very different thing. I don't know why I went into the water because that's not going to do nothing. <laughs> I got to use this thing over here. So uh, now that that, I want to add a brightness to the center, uh, to the petal plumages and little things down there. 
and um, I'm thinking this pink fluorescent would be really good. I could be wrong. We could screw this whole thing up right now, but I don't think so. I'm just gonna take that. We're gonna have to probably hit the yellow up again. But I wanna spread this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I know it's a little difficult. And we'll hit this guy up. Probably gonna go back in and darken again after this. I mean, it's a never ending process. You just keep doing it, keep doing it. You, put, you put the layers on. <laughs> You never stop. This has been the most uh, pleasurable process I've had. Because um, this is this is for all the age LGBTQ community. And this this wonderful man that uh, Paul Hartfleet, who made all this happen for everybody. I mean, everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody. Let's hit the yellow up a little bit in the center and then we'll, we'll darken a little again. Uh, just about out of this color here. This color says, oh, I'm just about out. <laughs> I'm just about out. I'm definitely going to buy a nice set of pearlescents. The leather ones are nice, but they don't have the, the colors that I really want to use. And I'm going to be wearing masks probably the rest of my life when I go to the store anyways. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do is um, then I'm going to darken that center up a little bit again. So I'm dripping a little bit of this black. It's not going to be too much here. Not too much. I'm just gonna kind of go like that. Just pulling it out from the centers. And uh, we have our beautiful pansies. My heart to the LGBTQ community and my heart to uh, Paul Hartfield who uh, literally has made all this happen. This is all him. This is all him. My flowers are just a, a mild representation of his amazing talent. Most and you know you, at the front door. you you don't have to think you can't draw to make a pansy because I can't draw Motion detected but I made a pansy door. so um, I encourage you to just uh, go with the flow and don't be afraid <laughs> all right so let's see what we got just a short video uh, eh. this is one of my favorite sticks pens right here I'm gonna stick it back in the water <sighs> little pansy, little pansy, you sit there by night. Little pansy, little pansy, you give me such light. My heart to you. My heart to the LGBTQ community that continues to suffer. And I hope someday that we will all be together under God. I love you. Uh, all my, my subscribers, I love you so much. To my mama, I love you. Ciao, Bella. <laughs>